souls. My name is Allison and this is another episode of Let's Get Stoned where I work with crystals that I've never worked with before, meditate with them and see what comes up for me in meditation and then do some research in books and online to compare it and see if what came up in meditation is actually accurate for the crystal. Um, this is a crystal that I've never worked with before. We are going to be, um, this was a free gift with purchase of some other crystals. Uh, it is a trollite generator. It's like a bluish green color. I don't know if this makes it easier. Um, so I've got a blue candle here to light during meditation and some Palo Santo. I was feeling a little down today, so I've just been trying to take it easy on myself. We're in a waning moon phase, so the light is getting darker, trying to go within, and uh, just kind of being gentle with myself because um, it's been a tough year. So, <laughs> uh, so how this kind of works is I will, I have a timer set on my Fitbit for 10 minutes. So I'm just going to sit and hold the crystal meditate and see what comes up. Um, I'll fast forward through that and uh, I will try to have better breathing practices and posture during my meditation this time because I noticed last time that I was breathing with my chest instead of my diaphragm. Um, so that's really important to consider during meditation and I also didn't have very good posture. When you kind of roll back on your spine but still keeping it straight, you're um, kind of pushing back into your um, central nervous system and helping to relax the mind a little bit to help you get into a deeper relaxed state while you're meditating. So um, that's one thing that's come out of making these videos is that <laughs> I'm noticing how to correct some things that um, I was doing wrong. So uh, here we go. Let's get stoned. I will come back after the meditation uh, with the research and um, well once I come out of the meditation I will share with you what came up for me and then I will do research tonight and come back tomorrow and let you know if the research uh, validates any of the information that I received during meditation or if it um, differs from it or um, just any additional information that maybe didn't come up. So, here we go. Let's get stoned. Um, we're listening to Solfeggio Frequencies 528 Hertz because, like I said, I was kind of feeling down today. So, um, that's supposed to be uplifting. And, uh, let's see. I will start the timer. And here we go. Alright, um, I feel like I need to put my feet on the ground here. 
So that made me immediately go really deep into the meditation. Like it didn't feel like long enough. Um, I almost kind of felt like there was someone here, which is very strange. Um, it's probably because of the, I'm assuming because it's a blue color that it has a strong connection to the third eye. Um, so, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like really far out there. Immediately when I closed my eyes, I could feel like this beam of light, like on my crown chakra. Um, and then, probably write this down, I feel like in outer space right now. So I think it definitely has a connection to the upper chakras, not just to the, because of the blue color, like just because that's what it felt like I'm, I'm having trouble coming back down. Um, I don't have any grounding stones near me, I don't think. Oh wait, I do have garnet. Um, so any like darker stones or red stones are gonna bring you back down to the ground after meditating. Um, so this really felt like either a crown or third eye or both. Um, and like I said, it felt like there was, like there was somebody there with me um, so maybe like spirit guide connection or guardian angel connection. Um, I also felt like, oh yeah, my, my, like I felt like my lungs were opening. So like, um, breath and like, I felt like I was breathing. I mean, I was because of what I said earlier about the last video, how I noticed that I wasn't breathing properly, but I really felt like the lower part of my lungs opening. Um, and, whew, yeah, like really upper chakra, even, even throat too, a little bit of throat. And, Right at the end, I was feeling like, kind of like some pain in my neck, like I was holding on to something and like not really letting go and going deep into the meditation. So, I mean, that is one of the reasons why I like doing these meditations is because usually I have trouble just closing my eyes and meditating. Um, so I usually use guided meditations, but doing the crystal meditations, it gives you something to focus on. That way your mind isn't really like wandering too much. So that has helped me get into like deeper meditations without having it to be guided. But I was still feeling like I was like holding on to something, like not really like letting go. Oh, and when we, when I first closed my eyes, I was like really trying, like, I wanted to lean back. I almost kind of wanted to lay down. Um, and that's kind of like if you fall asleep during meditation, uh, that's usually a sign that you just like really needed to drop into that um, subconscious uh, different like alpha state or alpha or theta states. Um, especially if you have trouble sleeping. Maybe it is good for it. Maybe the stone is good for sleeping. I'll put a question mark next to that. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm really just feeling like from the throat up, like, like really far up there. Um, so it's nice to have, garnet is really heavy, so it brings you back down. So, um, yeah, and putting your feet on the ground, that's why I brought my feet up at the end. So, um, all right, uh, I will do some research tonight and then come back 
at another time and see if the research um, corresponds to what came up in meditation. <laughs> I'm going to go get grounded. Thanks. Hello, welcome back. Um, so, it took me a really long time to come down from meditating with raw light. I definitely want to work with it again. Uh, however, I'm going to put this specific piece that we worked with in meditation into a crystal grid. Um, I um, already have a lot of trouble grounding and coming back down to the earth. So meditating was something that is meant to elevate your vibration and get you into the upper chakras um, is not really a good thing for someone like me to do. So that's why I am going to put it into this grid versus carrying it around with me, wearing it as a necklace. Um, so this way the, the energy will be activated and I'll explain a little bit more about um, making personal grids versus making one to be amplified for anybody, for the, uh, for the whole room, for, um, for just sending positive energy out into the world. Um, but first, let's get back to Twilight. See, just being around this is making me kind of spacey and, and hard to focus. So, um, like I said, I, I really had trouble coming back down, and I know I said earlier that uh, I could I could really feel that like immediately, like right away. And um, after I stopped filming, I actually started getting nauseous, which which I mean is, is not surprising. I I'm, um, I used to freak out when that happened because I'd be like, "What's going on?" Like, and like not knowing what was going on just amplified the anxiety and then that would make me uh, feel dizzy or it would make just make me feel worse. But now that I recognize that, okay, I'm too, I'm too up in my upper chakras. I need to come back down to the ground. So now I know that there are things that I can do to get grounded again. And one of those is holding the stones like garnet, like I, I mentioned earlier and also, just drinking water, uh, putting your feet on the ground, uh, doing a grounding meditation, imagining that there are, you're connected to the earth, that you're putting your roots down to the center of the earth. So, like, there are a lot of things that can bring you back down to the ground, um, and that's what I ended up having to do. So, if, if you are somebody that experiences dizziness or nausea after meditating, um, just be aware that that's, that's the reason. You're, you're not grounded enough. Uh, you might want to try doing a grounded meditation before you do like a longer meditation. Uh, you might want to meditate with grounding stones so that you stay connected and stay on the earth while you're traveling around in meditation land. Um, just so you know, because it took me a really long time. I mean, I would avoid going places and doing things because I would get sick and feel nauseous and pass out. But now I know that it's just like there's too much energy and uh, I need to either push that energy back down into the ground, uh, push it out of my heart chakra, or just put up some protective barriers so that I'm not getting overwhelmed by too much energy. So, obviously... What we picked up in meditation, trolight is a um, a crown chakra, a third eye stone. It, um, but it's also this is so it strengthens your intuition. It activates energy and light channels. So this is going to open you up to things like channeling, uh, communicating with your spirit guides, communicating with your angels, 
which I did say when I came out of meditation that I felt like there was somebody around. Um, so this would be a good stone if you're looking to connect, if you're looking to connect to your spirit guides or your guardian angels and, uh, just opening, opening you up to a divine connection. Um, the interesting thing that, um, I found out in research is that it's also, it's a good manifestation stone. And the reason this is like, I, I think of manifestation stones as like yellow, like citrine, um, or the, the yellow calcite that we did in one of the other videos is good for manifestation. Um, but the connection to trollite and manifestation is that it connects you to the higher self, to your spirit guides, to the angelic realm, so that you're guided towards um, the path that is right for you, your soul path, your true calling. It just gets you back on track and helps you to manifest the things that you need to be on that path, to be in the right direction. And um, yeah, even <laughs> just talking about this right now, I feel like I feel like something something is here. That is something that I'm working on is connecting to my my spirit guides. But um, yeah, um, <laughs> I don't feel like we're alone right now. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna light some incense for us. It's, just in case it's any negative energies. Let's make sure that the space is clear for positive energy and positive beings. And that's one of the things that I struggle with connecting to my spirit guides. I keep saying, I want to connect with you. I want to know that you're here. But then when somebody's something's here, I'm like, ah, I, get, I like get scared. <laughs> So anyways, I'm working on it. It's a process. So, um, trolley is also good. I love this. Did I, let me look back at what I said of meditation. Um, yeah, the, the main thing I picked up in med the meditation was, um, the definitely connection to the intuition, higher realms, higher chakra, that kind of thing. So uh, what the research says is that it's also good for releasing fear, anger, and pain. Specifically, um, negative emotions that are blocking you from achieving your goals. So it helps remove the obstacle, obstacles and negative energy so that, again, you're back on the right path. Um, it's also an energetic house cleaner, which I thought was really interesting. Because I usually think of black stones for clearing and, and, and cleaning the negative energy. So that's another reason why I want to put it into a grid. Because ever since I moved into this house the space that I use as my office right here, there, there's some negative energy. And no matter how many times I clean it and clear it, I, it still, it always comes back. So I've been really working on keeping the space clear of clutter, which is really difficult for me to do. But I'm going to use this grid partially as clearing the space and so that I can make it a very productive area because this is my office. I need to work here, but I get distracted. Um, so that's why it's going to be the perfect centerpiece for the grid that we will be activating today. And I think the charcoal dish should be ready, so I'm going to add some copal resin to that. And um, copal is a really great uh, resin to be using for activating crystal grids because it just brings this like positive white light into the whole entire room. Uh, you can see the smoke coming up now. Um, so it's trolley is also good for ascension, 
raising your vibration and angelic connection, angelic connection, which is what I said earlier. And uh, um, I said the, the mental clarity and emotional balance. So the emotional balance thing, again, is just going to be that um, clearing negative emotions so that you're able to access your intuition clearly and connect to your spirit guides, connect to the deities that you might be working with. Um, so let me tilt the camera down and show you what we will be working with today. I hope this works out in filming. So I think I mentioned earlier in this video, or maybe it was one of the other ones, but I use these glass boxes for crystal cords to protect it from getting knocked over by um, cats or sometimes humans knock them over. So uh, it's just a really great way to protect it from dust and just from being knocked over. Because once once you like activate it and you don't want the stones to move uh, too much because it just kind of, when you're activating your grid, grid you're creating this like sacred geometric shape. And I kind of think of it as like a spider web. So um, if you move it, just imagine that like that spider web gets stuck to something and it's just not in alignment anymore, which is fine. It's no problem. You just deactivate it and then reactivated it um, once you get everything back in place. So we've got the trolight in the center here. Uh, and you want to use a, this is a, an obelisk, or you want to use a generator or a pyramid or a spear, something that is going to amplify and project the energy outwards, upwards. Uh, we are using hyperstene, which we talk about in another Let's Get Stone video. So if you are... Um, if you are planning on watching that video, I recommend going to watch it and then come back because there will be spoilers as I activate this grid if you, with the properties of Hyperstein. Um, we are also doing Carnelian, which again also is in another Let's Get Stone video. We are using Tiger's Eye. And these little chip stones are the yellow calcite that we talked about in the first Let's Get Stone video. And then last but not least, because we love clear quartz so much, we are using clear quartz points. And so because this is a crystal grid for me personally, I have all of the points pointing inward. This contains the energy to either a person or a room or a specific situation. If you wanted to send this energy out into the world, like if you were doing a healing grid and you wanted to send it out to the world to heal our planet, to heal our society, you would have the crystals pointed outwards. That's going to project the energy and open and expand it. So, Let's get started. So I'm activating this on a waning moon, and that is because so many of these stones were about releasing the things that get in your way, that prevent you from achieving your goals, that prevent you from uh, figuring out what it is that you really want. Um, so I'm activating it on a waning moon because when the light is decreasing, you are shedding and letting go of things. Um, you can keep a crystal grid up for as long as you want to. You can reactivate it as many times as you want to. So I will be reactivating it on the new moon to activate all of the positive properties to bring in, to call in the angelic connection, the courage, the confidence, the productivity, the structure, 
the creativity, all of the positive elements. I will be calling that in on the new moon. However, right now, because we are in a waning moon, I'm going to activate it to release um, whatever negative energy that's in my way, any of the self-doubt that is preventing me from achieving my goals or um, anything like that. You get the idea. Um, oh, shoot. I was going to use this one to activate, but it's kind of difficult for you to see um, when I'm actually doing it. Do I have a smaller one? I can't think of where my smaller one is right now. So to activate any grid, you just need a double terminated wand. There's a point here and there's a point on the other end here. Um, you can use any double terminated. Um, yeah, I really don't know where my smaller one is so that you can see it on camera. I'm going to light some more copal. And so you take one of the points and hold it directly above the stone that you are activating, which you start in the center and you go towards the east and you go out to the furthest stone, which would be this yellow calcite at the end. And so I activate this grid to connect to my higher self, my spirit guides, and my guardian angels to help receive messages clearly from them, to help access what it is I need to continue on my soul path. I activate this grid to let go of anything that is blocking me or in the way and um, I thank Trollite for helping me to connect to my spirit guides. I thank Yellow Calcite for helping me to uh, activate my solar plexus and for courage and strength. Trollite for intuition. Tiger's Eye for courage and strength. Trollite for intuition. Clear Quartz for Magnification, Trollite for Intuition, Yellow Calcite for Solar Plexus Energy, Trollite for Intuition, Hypersteam for Productivity and Releasing Any Blockages, Trollite for Intuition, Clear Quartz for Magnification, Trollite for Intuition, Yellow Calcite for Solar Plexus Energy, Trollite for Intuition, Yellow calcite for solar plexus energy, trollite for intuition, clear quartz for magnification, trollite for intuition, carnelian for creative energy, trollite for intuition, yellow calcite for solar plexus energy, trollite for intuition, tiger's eye for courage and strength, trollite for intuition, Clear Quartz for Magnification, Trollite for Intuition, Hypersteam for uh, releasing any negative energy blockages, Trollite for Intuition, Yellow Calcite for Solar Plexus Energy, Trollite for Intuition, Clear Quartz for Magnification, Trollite for Intuition and Angelic Connection, Yellow Calcite for Solar Plexus Energy and Manifestation, Trollite for Intuition, Yellow Calcite for Solar Plexus Energy, Trollite for Intuition, Clear Quartz for Magnification, Trollite for Angelic Connection, Carnelian for Creative Energy, Trollite for Intuition. And now that we're back at Yellow Calcite, we just continue those same lines that we did before and we will go all the way around three times and 
can, well, you can go more than three times if you want to, but I would do at least three. Um, you kind of get into this meditative state when you do it, and it almost feels like the double terminated wand is just like pulling like a, it's like a magnet. It just kind of goes to each and every stone in the same pattern. Like I don't even feel like I'm trying. So we actually ended up going around four times, but I activate this grid for connecting to my higher self, my guardian angels, and my spirit guides. I would like to open communication with them to clear out anything that may be blocking that communication, um, for helping me be productive and grounded and centered and courageous with my creativity and to keep me on the right path for the highest healing good. I activate this grid in four paths because four is a stable number. It keeps you grounded and productive. Amen, aho. And so it is. So thank you guys for learning about these crystals with me. I hope that this grid helps me to continue to do these videos, to maintain a regular schedule. And uh, I've got lots of fun things planned to bring forth to you. So um, I really appreciate you watching and I uh, hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.